My reefing fam, what's up? March here, Fregbox TV. Today we're gonna do a quick video, a little coral spotlight on an individual species of Acropora. This is the strawberry shortcake acro. Yeah, you heard me right, strawberry shortcake. You're not supposed to eat it though, you put it inside your aquarium. It gets its name from its crazy color. This is what I'm gonna call peak color. I'll get back to that in a second, what that means. Acropora microclados. That's the Latin name of this type of acro and more or less tables. So what does that mean? It's going to grow in a sort of horizontal fashion. We call that a tabling acro. And then we have other types of acro. If you hear me say acro in the video, it's just short for acropora. We have other acros that grow straight up, sort of like staghorns or tortusas. Let me think what else grows up straight. Aspera maybe, Hoximai. If you don't know what I'm talking about, these are just other Latin names for species of Acropora. Typically, I'm not gonna do a video on just one kind of Acro like this. I'll do a video on how to keep Acro or how to keep, let's say, hammer coral or how to keep frog spawn like these ones over here. But this is such a special piece. I wanted to take just a moment today to do a video on it and really capture the color. So what I was talking about when I say peak color, acros can color up and they can color down. They can bleach, so that's when they drop all the bacteria, the zoo and theli that gives them their color and allows them to grow and survive. I'm not gonna get into that today with this video, but sometimes they'll brown out. Some are easier to keep, some are harder to keep. I would say this is not one of the easiest. It's also not the hardest one, but it needs stable water conditions. The key to keeping this type of acro, the strawberry shortcake, and really all acro is going to be stability. So here in our store, if you're new to the channel and you don't already know, it's a um, saltwater coral store. We specialize in saltwater aquariums and coral frags, and we have thousands of corals on hand at any given time. The key to keeping that strawberry shortcake happy, but also acros uh, on a lar on, in, in general is stability. So what does that mean? We're keeping our primarily our salt, our alkalinity, our calcium, and then our magnesium. Those are the real big four, the four major ones we're looking at and trying to keep them stable at all times. And then if we, if there's one that's more important than any of them for acro, and then again for the shortcake, for me, it's gonna be the alkalinity. That's where you want it to be rock solid. You wanna see little to no fluctuations or deviations in your alk. We try and keep ours as close to natural seawater as possible. Our alk is a little bit elevated, so we're shooting for about eight, eight and a half DKH, so there's different scales. Our calcium is around 450 to 500, and magnesium, I think we go against the norm because we keep it a little higher than most people. We're shooting for about 1500 magnesium, which is quite a bit higher than natural seawater. Natural... Now, when it comes to placement for the strawberry shortcake acro, you're gonna wanna put it highlight, high flow. That goes for just about all SPS, all hard corals, but especially for this one, like I'm talking high, high. The acro, this acro can really take some serious light. It's a light loving species, the microclados. So don't be afraid to stick it right up top and flow as long as it's indirect, you really cannot give this coral enough flow. I mean, the more flow, the more the polyps are gonna come out in the current and it's gonna look great as long as it's indirect. So you never wanna put a coral right in front of your power head or your return pump or wave maker or something like that because you can literally blow the tissue. You can blow it right off of the skeleton of the body and you can kill it with flow. But if it's very, very strong and indirect, it's gonna be a very happy and healthy coral. Check out the polyps sticking out. I have the flow <clears throat> off right now on the tank just so I can shoot from the top down and really capture the color. But you can see here with our macro lens, that's a very, very good sign. Polyp extension looks good. They has these kind of white little hairs. That's what, we, that's what we call the polyps of an acro. And that is a very good sign of health. You wanna see them out and about. Some of them are not as, I always use the word shaggy or fluffy or furry. Those aren't very scientific terms, but you wanna see them out. Some of them don't show polyps throughout the days, like species like Carduce or Suar Sonoy, maybe even Caroliniana. Some will show polyps only at night, but shortcake is one that's cool because it's gonna show them off during the day. As you can see here, they're out and they're looking good. This type of acro we only find from the Great Barrier Reef. It comes from Australia. It is not an easy piece to import. So when we do get them, they come in not you, 99 out of 100 times they come in bleached. 
they don't travel well here. They do travel well once they're already here and they're established and, and on plugs, but to get them here is a little bit tricky and we need to let them chill for a couple months. I'll do another video when we import a few to show you. We almost got to bring them, bring them back. They're, they're just not happy about the um, long transit times. We do have success shipping them though here within the country. This piece is gonna get fragged up today. That's why I wanted to shoot the video before we go ahead and start making frags of it. If you are interested, they're gonna end up on our site. L like I said, this is the Strawberry Shortcake Acro. Probably one of the most coveted, one of the most highly sought after Acros up there with maybe the Ice Fire Enchinata, the Refraft Orange Passion, Home Wreckers up there, uh, maybe Walt Disney. This is what we would call a high-end acro or designer collector piece there's there's a lot of other nice ones out there but this one is a classic it's been around for a long time it's unmistakable this really doesn't look like any other sort of hard coral you don't really mistake it when you see a shortcake you know okay that's a shortcake and i think that's about it for today's video we'll go ahead and wrap it up like i said i don't normally do a video highlighting one single like piece of coral but this one is just look at it something spectacular if you don't already know we do seven videos a day seven videos a day a reef related video every single day of the week so that's seven videos a week go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this if you like the content you we will find us back here tomorrow this has been another episode thank you for watching fragbox tv